Consider for just a moment, how many times today have you interacted with artificial intelligence? Your first reaction might be, well, never, I don't think I have. But if you've done a search, or if you've worked with an automated voice response system, or if you've seen a recommendation on a, on a shopping site, uh, if you've used a map of any sort on your phone, uh, chances are very good you've crossed paths with an AI. You just might not be aware of it. Uh, artificial intelligence is starting to creep into things all around us, including like the speakers and other appliances in our homes. Um, and what that's doing is it's making, uh, it's making those devices more responsive and in some ways better able to serve us, better able to help us. Uh, yesterday somebody pointed out to me that if you flip around the letters AI, you get IA, um, which is an intelligent assistant. And those two ideas fit together quite nicely. So um, artificial intelligence at your service is like an intelligent assistant that's always there ready to help you. But ultimately, where I think this is heading, is that that intelligent assistant is going to be capable of helping you in ways even when you're not around. You'll be able to delegate tasks to it. We're starting to see early signs of that. It's quite promising. For that to work really well though, that intelligent assistant is going to be able to have some degree of confidence, or you'll need a degree of confidence, that that intelligent assistant can actually understand the things it's operating on in the real world. And for that, we're going to need rock-solid digital identity. Identity that spans the physical world and also connects uh, all the digital metadata associated with phys physical products in a way that a machine can read it and understand what it's dealing with and report back to you accurately about the tasks that it's completed. The cool thing is that that's not too far off in the future. That's happening right now.